I study how uh, ice uh, interacts with the oceans with implications for climate. Sea ice is basically it's ice that forms each uh, winter in the polar oceans. Uh, when you get through to winter, the temperatures get so cold up there in the Arctic and Antarctic that you start to actually freeze the surface of the ocean um, and you end up forming this thin layer of ice, so maybe a few meters of ice. But the thing we were really interested in understanding is how, when you grow this ice, how does the salt that was initially in the seawater drain out of the ice as it grows into the ocean and then how does that impact, which has important consequences for uh, ocean uh, circulation and mixing. If you think about the ice that we're familiar with looking at is things like ice cubes where you've got really solid uh, ice. One of the quirky things that happens when you freeze uh, salt water is rather than growing this nice pure ice crystal, you actually get something that's quite porous. Um, so you get a mess of lots of ice crystals with liquid salty water trapped in, in between those ice crystals. But because it's a lot heavier than the underlying ocean, it basically will want to sink um, down into the uh, underlying ocean waters and then this can drive um, some circulation and then that can have potentially have downstream impacts on things such as uh, how carbon is mixed down into the deep ocean. Things that are happening on sh relatively short timescales that we were studying but the accumulated effect may add up to have a longer term climatic impact.